here's all the crap I got during the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. This is brand new. It's Soleil, Sealy, Patrick Ta Foundation, Dior Skin Tint, Dior Blush, Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt Makeup Forever Palette, the Kiehl's creamy avocado eye treatment. My dog is trying to get in, hold on. <laughs> a Makeup Forever uh, lip liner. And then I did get some stuff from Amazon, some powder puffs, and then I want to try these. It's called Beaky, um, but they're like kind of fluffy almost. I don't know. The lashes that I love. I got the mini size and I like it so much I got the full size. I bought a bunch of skincare stuff too, so let me know if you want to see a skincare video too. I got these Jessup Beauty um, brushes from Amazon. It's a Korean brand and uh, I tried them a couple times, but we're going to use all of them in this video. I only have one face, so I can only use a certain amount of face products, but... This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette Face Sculpting Palette. Should we do some underpainting? So this is one of the Jessup brushes. It's like a flat brush. I think that might be good for using this as a highlight brush. So start with that. I'm gonna go into this color here. I already love the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. So I'm hoping this is this same formula. There's this like kind of funky shaped brush. Like, I don't know. I think I'll use that to contour. So they have this cool tone, which I think I'm gonna use. So when you're under painting, usually you can go like a little bit deeper and more intense than you normally would. Okay, that's like a perfect contour color. If you have like light skin tone, probably. You could get away with it if you have fair skin too. Okay, and then I wanna try this color too. Yes, can you see the difference? This is like a warmer tone. This would be like a good bronzer color. That's why I kinda of put it on the top. Yeah. You know, it looks crazy. I'm sure a lot of you follow uh, like Tati Beauty or Tati on YouTube. She, God, I can't talk today. I'm gonna try the little like sponge. Looks like it has like hair. It's weird. So I wet it, this is the size dry, and this is it wet. Like it gets a lot bigger, but it doesn't feel wet. It's weird. I don't know how to describe it, it feels dry. Anyways, so if you follow Tati Beauty, she has gotten her makeup done by JLo's makeup artist, uh, Scott Barnes, and he always does the contour, like really intense and it looks crazy, but um, then he goes over with a regular foundation and it looks amazing. We're gonna go in with this Sealy I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. It has SPF 50, so it's like a serum. This might be a tiny bit dark, but they were out of the shade lighter than this, and I really want to try it. <laughs> oh, you can wear it swimming. It's like an actual sunscreen. So it comes in a little dropper. Yeah, that's definitely a little bit dark, but I am going away, so hopefully I'll get tan and <laughs> it'll be fine. So I have a lot of texture on my chin and dry skin. So skin tints and anything hydrating typically work better than something that doesn't. Look at that glow. Usually I can tell like right away if it, there's gonna be an issue on my chin and it doesn't look like it on this one. So that's kind of exciting. This is supposed to also have products that, or ingredients that don't clog your pores. Cause if you have any trouble with 
breaking out because uh, of sunscreen, which I do. I use Super Goop, and then I've been using like tinted foundations, and like they'll have SPF 30 or 50 or whatever. That doesn't break me out. Not sure how I feel about this. So they have three highlight shades. Let me see. That's the more brown color. I really like the, this palette again, this color. I'm using this more as a bronzer. What did you pick up at the Black Friday sales and the Cyber Monday sales? Although they've been having like a ton of sales, I feel like the whole time. I'm wondering what you got. This isn't a new powder, but uh, I've been really liking it. It's the Givenchy powder. I got the mini one because honestly, I don't wear that much powder and I wasn't sure how much I was gonna like it or wear it, so, but I've been liking it. Especially if you have more dry skin or I would say maybe like more mature skin because it doesn't emphasize wrinkles. I got the Dior blush. I got the pink one that everybody gets, but I also got this rosewood one. The pink one is coming in the mail. So here's the rosewood. Ooh. It's supposed to like change to your like pH of your skin or something. Color's nice. Got this uh, Makeup Forever pencil in Endless Cacao. It's like a cool tone brown. Hmm, maybe a little too brown. So I realized I didn't get any eyeshadow palettes really for, for but I did pick up some like right before the um, sales, so I'm just gonna use those ones. This is the Natasha Denona concealer. I've been really liking it. Okay, so we're gonna use the Lawless palette again. First, we're gonna go in with this color, and this is like one of the fluffy brushes from the Jessup um, pack. Actually, I'm gonna go in to these two shades. Did you pick up any eyeshadow palettes? And if you did, which ones did you get? And do you like them? Can't believe I didn't really pick up any eyeshadow palettes. Not that I need anymore, but I'm gonna go into this color. I haven't worn like nails in a while and I'm like, I feel like I'm holding the brush friggin' weird. The brushes are really soft though. I'm gonna go into this like purpley gray color. Should I do a comparison of this and the Makeup by Mario? I realized I've been saying it all wrong. It's not ethereal palette, it's ethereal palette. <laughs> My sister uh, called me out on that and I can't believe nobody else did. If you wanna know how to pronounce something wrong, well, I'll, uh, I'll teach you how. I just feel like that the tones in the ethereal and these palettes, like I don't know what it is. They're like on the cooler side, but they're almost like cooler neutral. And I just feel like they always look so good on my skin tone and my eyes. This is the Makeup by Mario one. I wanna put this brown color all over my eyes. And so this is the just the flat shader brush from the Jessup brushes that I got. And I'm gonna go into this color. You just need to use your finger. Like I'll show you the difference. So this one, I just used a brush. Like, can you tell the difference? If you're playing with glitter or trying to do like a really smoky eye, do your foundation last. Now I'm gonna use the Sephora brand black liner. This is the lash curler I got. I don't know, I feel like I liked the shape of the handles. Like, I don't know why, but that's pretty much the reason I bought it was because of the handles. So I just put some lashes on. And I'll do my brows really quick. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil in taupe. I 
gonna use this color. I'm gonna go in with this like purpley beige color, not beige, gray. I got this Sephora um, liner and it's a blue one. I've been looking for another like good line. I usually use the Makeup by Mario navy blue one, but I like this one too. And it's 30% off like when Sephora does their Sephora collection sale. Oh my God, my camera keeps falling. Let's try the lips again. So we're gonna go in with the Myth. It's like that 90s lip. This is the Juvia's Place one. I like it a lot. So this is the final look and I'm gonna share my so thoughts. So far I'm liking this. I only used three colors. Oh, no, I used four colors. So well, I love the HD Skin Concealer, the foundation. So I'm not surprised that I like this. Dior blush, I mean, it looks nice, I don't know. Everybody like raves about it, so I'm curious to try the pink one that is like the original. Um, but it is a nice blush and it sits really nice on the skin. Yes, okay. It is not emphasizing any texture whatsoever and I, like here, I always get so much texture that like, there's very few foundations that actually work for my skin and that make my skin look better than it does with no foundation on. So, so far so good. This little eyelash curler, I mean, it's cute, whatever. I don't know, it didn't like, I don't know, it's an eyelash curler. And then these things are, I don't know, I still have to like play around with it. I'm used to the Beauty Blender being like really wet, like this is the normal one and like this feels wet and cool, but this like almost feels like a towel dry, but I wet it, so I don't know. But it blended out my makeup nice, so I don't know. We'll see. And then the Jessup brushes, uh, love these. These are really good. They're so, so soft. And they come in a pack. They have um, the eye brush ones and then, oh, eye brush. Well, yeah, they're the eye brush ones. <laughs> Oh my God, eye brushes. Oh, the lip liner, it's nice. I have to like figure out what colors would look good with it. I mean, I this is like the 90s look, which I like. I mean, I like a nude, but the Lawless palette, I really like. Um, I did a whole video on it. So if you wanna check out some of the other Lawless products, check that video out. I did a more in-depth tutorial with this palette. Natasha Denona, yes, definitely like this. I have dry skin, I have like texture, not, yeah, well like wrinkles or whatever uh, under my eyes, so this does not emphasize it. It's almost like more of like a self-setting one. Uh, so like that. The eyelashes I love, especially if you have small eyes or like hooded eyes, you might like those ones because normally I have to like cut the eyelashes in half and these ones I don't and they just, or a good half lash on my eyes. But I'll have more videos on the other products that I picked up. If you like these kind of videos, hit subscribe and the like button, and I will be having more videos coming with some of the other new products. 